Welcome to this week's MVP on High School Cube News. I'm Beth Long at Proviso West for the annual holiday tournament where this week's MVP has been putting up some pretty big numbers. I'm talking about Morgan Park's Josh Cunningham. Josh against TF South tonight came out, scored 37 points, had 19 rebounds and 5 blocks. What was the key tonight for you to have such a big game? Um, just attack the rim. I seen that they were smaller, so I just used my size to my advantage and scored and paint. And it's something that you guys as a team has been using is your guys' size and length. How, how special does that make this team? Um, it makes us very special. Like you said, we're real long, so we can get deflections. We can get up and down the court with the deflections. And I really like playing defense, so. How big of a, a part of your game is your defense? Uh, it's most of my game, because I get the steal and then go. And without defense, it wouldn't be an offense, so. And what do you think has developed the most as a, as a part of your game over the last couple of years? Um, being able to put the ball on the floor and attacking the hole because I felt like this is my senior year, so I need to step up, be able to put the ball on the floor and score some more for my team. You've had some big games the past couple of weeks, notably knocking off Simeon. What kind of confidence does a win like that give you going into the next couple of games? Um, it gives you a very high confidence, but you can't get too high, you can't get too low, you gotta stay right in the middle. So you can balance out and come into the next game with a, in mind, like an even mindset and play every team the same. And what do you think you've learned the most from consecutive losing to Bogan, coming back and beating Simeon. I learned that defense is very important because when we played Bogan, it was kind of a lack of defense. And then when we played Simeon, we picked up our defense and we got the win. You did win state last season. What are the differences in that, that team and this team? Um, last year we had a few individuals that were pretty good, but this year we're more of a team. We score as a team, we win as a team playing defense and stuff. Your head coach, Nick Irvin, has said, take your time, let the game come to you. Seems like that's kind of been the motto for this season. How much does that impact your guys' game plan every week? Um, it impacts our game plan every week. You don't want to rush the game. Nick always say, don't rush a blowout, it'll come to you. So just take your time, let the game come to you. If you're not scoring, you can do something else. You can get rebounds, get deflections. If you are scoring, keep it going. and Just help pick your teammate up. And as you have, have grown older and you know, played in the system for several years, do you think that it's getting a little easier to let that game come to you? Oh yes, it's, it's getting pretty easy because uh, when I first came in, I was kind of rushing my game. And throughout the years, Nick taught me, just let the game come to you. And I've been letting the game come to me. And it's been getting easier and easier. What were some of the other things going into the season that you worked on and worked on and you're seeing that pay dividends now? Um, I tried to work on my post moves, just back them down, take my time, and they'll come to me. And we got to talk recruiting a little bit. I know that you're undecided and you're one of the few hoops prospects who is undecided. Mm -hmm. So how's recruiting going for you? Oh, it's going great right now. Um, everybody, they, they laid off a little bit since it's their season and it's my season. They understand that I'm trying to focus on winning the city and stay. So, but I, I stayed in touch with some of the teams, with some of the schools. So it's going pretty well. What are some things that you will be looking for in a school when you do make your decision? Um, a coaching staff that's just like the coaching staff at Morgan Park. A team I can go into that's treat me like a family and they'll pick me up and they'll stay on top of me if I'm not doing my best. You were very, very good in transition tonight. You think that's one of your strengths? Yes, I, I worked on that a lot in practice because Nick always said I need to get out and run, dribble the ball, bring the ball up if I need to. So I did that tonight to help my team out. Well, thanks and good luck the rest of the season, Josh. Once again, Josh Cunningham of Morgan Park is this week's MVP on High School Cube News. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's.